Guys, so I used to be uh, a distance runner. I haven't ran now. I, I, I kind of stopped training in August, haven't really trained in four months. Um, but what's the most important thing I've learned from my time as a runner? Now, this might surprise a lot of you. It's probably not what you're expecting. You might think, oh, you learned self-discipline. And if you put your mind to it, you can achieve anything. But no, that's not it. All right, what did I learn? Um, I learned that success isn't worth it. It's not worth it. You know, being so obsessive about success is just, it really just takes the fun out of things, okay? Now, I don't really believe this is fully my fault for having this kind of mentality. Um, I actually believe my dad had something to do with it. And people often say, oh, you need to, to take responsibility for yourself. But, you know, I, I believe that the teacher or the coach has more of an impact than some people realize. You know, now I am, the thing with me is, you know, so I started running at 14, that was, this was 2011, um, you know, I wasn't really that sporty before then, never really, never, I was never really able to make any of these teams at my school, but I started running, uh, now I did run a little bit the year before, when I was in first year at school, but not much, uh, I think I just about scraped onto the team, but you know, the guys who are ahead of me, they didn't even run, they're kind of, they got all their fitness from other sports, like, you know, GAA, soccer, rugby. But uh, anyway, so I started running regularly when I was 14 and suddenly I kind of outpassed them. And, you know, I caught the eye of um, a coach one day when I was training at uh, the UCD track, Belfield. This was just before they tore it down. But uh, anyway, so um, he told me I should join a club. I joined Dundrum South Dublin, who trained at uh, Marty Park. And I trained from there. And, you know, back then, I was big into running. I liked running every day, pretty much. Um, I wasn't, but I wasn't overly serious about it. You know, now I did do all my runs way too fast back then. You know, but like I wasn't the guy who would time myself or anything like that. You know, um, I wouldn't even take too much, um, um, pay too much attention to the position that I finished at in races. Okay, so you know, I was relatively chill, committed but relaxed at the same time. I feel like that's a good balance I had. But after about a year, my dad took over my training. And it was all about speed, 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 you know, and he was very serious about all those small little details. Now, my dad was a runner himself. Um, he grew up in a time before, like, Garmin GPS watches were around. Um, so he never really got into that kind of thing. But, uh, but still, he was very serious, you know. Um, you know, I do a track session, uh, or any session, and he always asked me, what time do you have, time do you have, time do you have? It was all about the times, the times, you know, and he always be timing me at races. And, um... I don't know, I just think that kind of seriousness kind of uh, had a negative effect on me. I, I It was contagious. I ended up becoming too serious about it myself. I became, for all these years of being asked, what time did you have, time did you have, time did you get, and stuff like that, I I ended up being like that myself. I, I was obsessive with the times. When I got a Garmin watch at 18, I was very obsessive with it. I was, like, looking at the watch every five seconds and stuff. I couldn't just, like, enjoy the run, do you know what I mean? And, um, yeah, it definitely had a negative impact on me, you know, because I was... Like, that, that wasn't me by nature. That was kind of like my dad's brainwashing, if you know what I mean. So, you know, I did that. I became obsessive with times and stuff. And, um, you know, I was like that for years. But recently I quit running. And I tried a few different things. I, I went to the gym for a while. I tried uh, playing tennis. But I ended up sticking to swimming. And, um, you know, I'm mad into it. Like, I'm only a beginner, so I only trained, like, four days per week. I, I did train six days a week for a while, but... I think I, I think that was too much. I ended up feeling exhausted, run down, so I cut down to four. And you know, I just feel like you know, I'm I'm kind of reluctant to get a coach to train me because I feel like most of the coaches are too serious. You know, they'd be like, oh, "What do you want to get out of it?" And I'd be like, "Okay, I just want to have fun, enjoy my swimming." And they'd be like, "No, no, you need ambition. You need ambition. You need to um, aim high. Uh, what time do you have? Time do you have? Time do you?" <laughs> and stuff like that. I'm like, I don't want to be that serious. I don't want to take this so seriously. You know, now the thing is, you know, I'm starting this at 23, so at that at this age, I feel like it's a bit unrealistic to expect to to win anything or get to a serious standard or represent my country or anything like that. So you know, there's not a huge amount of expectation on myself. I just go out and I enjoy it. I just do because it it's fun. You know what I mean? And um, I did it yesterday, and I, you know, I really enjoyed it. So, uh, you know, so I just want to keep doing this. Um, this whole thing and um, just try to enjoy it, make the most of it, um, not be so serious about it. And I feel like if my dad never interfered with my running, I feel like I would have had that mentality. I would have been reasonably relaxed about my training. I wouldn't have been 
overly serious or anything. Uh, I wouldn't have been so obsessed with all the mile spits and stuff. I would have just gone out and enjoyed it. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, you know, that's, that's, that's why I'm reluctant to get a coach to take me on. So, you know, for me, you know, the coaches, they're all, you know, people say you should get a coach to reach your potential. So I don't really care about reaching my potential. I just want to go out and enjoy my sport. You know, I am, um, you know.